you can see this Word document here has a number of obvious paragraphs. I'm just going to make these headings. Now the way I can do that is to highlight them and choose heading 1. If I want to highlight more than one at a time I can highlight, hold the control key down and then click heading 1. I might make this one heading 2 and you'll see there I didn't even have to highlight it really. I can just um, put the cursor anywhere in that's that word. So now I've got some um, heading 1s and heading 2s. All I'm going to do now is put my cursor at the beginning. I'll press Control Enter to make a new page and if I just zoom out you'll see here I've now got a blank page and there's my um, there's my content. So what I'm going to do is simply under references I'm just going to choose table of contents. Now the table of contents I'm going to choose is this one here that just says table of contents and there's my table of contents. What it's done is it's picked up each of these headings being heading 1 and 2 from here. So that first one says insert so if I find insert and make that a double T when I go back up here and right click and update the entire table you'll see now that says insert with a double T. If I click it it'll take me to insert. If I was to go to the quick style gallery it takes me to the quick style gallery. So I'll just fix up this mistake. There's no point trying to fix it in the um, table of contents here. Right click, update the field, update the whole table not just the uh, page numbers. Click OK and we're done.